What's up, Facebook? I'm back with uh, uh, New Inventory Tuesday, um, and we're out here. We have three cars for you this week, and we're gonna jump right into it because it's a little windy and it's a little cold, and I just want to get into the cars. So, are we gonna do the? Are we gonna get inside the car to go over all info? Okay, I'm gonna let Alyssa show you around the car. I'm gonna get in, and we'll talk about all the info inside. That way, we don't get a bunch of wind noise. Okay, so I'll read off all the info, um, and Alyssa, if you just want to show them around, I guess I can't really see the inside, so. Um, okay, so this is a, I don't get to say this often, but I'm being very serious when I do say this. If there was a car that I was going to trade my own car in on, this would be it, and I'll tell you why with all this information. It's a 2017 Mazda 3 Sport. Uh, it's $14,700. It only has 7,800 miles, okay? 7,800 miles, that's brand new. And that's that's really the main reason. Plus, you get a couple of uh, cool little features that my car personally doesn't have. Uh, it's a 2.0 liter four cylinder. The gas mileage is also insane. Uh, 28 to 37 miles per gallon with eco mode. Uh, and you have a couple of different drive modes here. You'll have sport, eco, and regular. Uh, it is front wheel drive with traction control. It has a backup cam. Backup cam with the line, so when you do that, maybe, no? Oh, uh, nope, just kidding. Okay, thought it did that, just kidding, I was wrong. Wait, hold on, there's something cool. There's a settings feature in your backup cam. So you can actually change your brightness, color, tint, everything you wanna do. So that way, depending on what you can, I think you can kind of preset it, so like if it was darker out and you want to turn the brightness up, you can. If it's too bright, you can turn it down. So whatever you kind of you want to be at for, um, it's very customizable, which is kind of which is different in uh, in backup camps. So that's nice. Right foot back in park so we don't roll away. Uh, Bluetooth, cruise control, power windows, locks and mirrors. Uh, it's nav capable, but you have to take it to a Mazda dealer and charges would apply for that. Uh, crystal blue color, uh, six speed automatic. Uh, and it's powered by the Mazda Skyactiv technology, uh, which is a trusted name in, in the Mazda world. So uh, you have all, like, so this is fully touch screen. So if you want to do it that way, you have kind of, BMW was the first one to do this with the, with the all-in-one joystick for controlling. Um, so you can kind of spin through here. You have your three buttons for your quick access. Um, uh, that's your emergency brake. Volume, off and on if you push that automatic back button favorite it uh, and then this goes in all different directions you can push it to select up back left right well and you can spin so if i spin you can see what's happening up here with that so pretty quick selection and the reason that they did a screen like this up out of the middle with a hand control here is 100 percent for safety so instead of looking down in here to control where your eyes would not be able to see up now at least if you're looking here your peripherals can still see the road and being here and being able to control this with one hand where your hand naturally rests here anyway if you're a one-handed driver like most people are you can just easily control from right here see this and still see the road so they did that for a really good safety feature um so way to go Mazda. it's a good design copied i think from bmw but still either way good design <laughs> moving on Okay, now we're moving on to a traverse. I will, we're gonna do the same thing. Actually, it's, I don't think it's windy enough. Now we can probably do it outside quick. We'll do a walk around of this traverse quick. And uh, well, let's get into it. So, um, yeah. 2015 Chevy Traverse LT, uh, $20,955, 39,400 miles. Uh, it's a 3.6 liter six, uh, V6, 16 to 23 miles per gallon. It is all wheel drive. And it has a third row seat, which you'll see when you look inside. Um, chrome running boards, heated heated cloth seats, remote start. Your second row is captain's chair, so it's really easy to have with a lot. You, and you have a legit third row, which is really nice. Uh, power windows, locks and mirrors, satellite radio, backup cam, Bluetooth, and more. Um, not going to get quite into as many details because 
This one doesn't have quite as many bells and whistles. You'll have, uh, it looks like two USBs in the back for your kids um, or anybody who's riding back there who needs USBs. Uh, rear control for uh, um, temp and stuff like that. And the thing I really love about these captain's chairs in the back is it gives you a much bigger, much roomier third row in a vehicle that's not a Suburban or a Yukon XL or something like that. You still get a, a medium sized SUV or a bigger size SUV, but not a bus. You don't have to drive a bus, you still get a legit third row. And with having a third row, this still does have, in my opinion, um, a lot of space in the back. No, you don't have a ton. I mean, that's where, that's where the Suburban really comes in handy because you get a spacious third row with a lot of space in the back, a full size trunk. But for what it is, I, I think these things are really practical and really family friendly. So um, if you're looking for a third row, highly recommend the captain's chairs because it's the same seater either way. Um, Cause a lot of cars like this when they do them, they only put two, two seater in the back, which is the third row. So it's still, instead of being two, three, two, it's just two, two, three. So it's the same seven passenger uh, van, or uh, yeah, van. Same, same seven passenger car. Uh, S, or, uh, luggage gets got some room definitely enough to go get groceries and uh, if you're gonna take a road trip you can figure out a way to stack it uh, and stuff. So, it does look like you have roof racks if you really need to you can get one of those giant bubbles that go on top so they're, they're not that expensive now race car number two back to back we, last week we had the charger scat pack which is maybe one of my favorite cars of all time uh, and now we have uh, I don't really call. I don't want to call it a big brother or a little brother, but just a brother in general. Uh, we have the Challenger Shaker. Uh, I was talking about it last week. I said this one sounds good, but the Shaker really has the sound when you start it up. So let me go through this info quick, and we'll give it a start and uh, let you guys listen to it because it's really cool. Thirty-one thousand five hundred fifty-five dollars, only five thousand miles. Okay, I don't like doing the voice like that because I feel like one of those really annoying commercials where it's like big letters. I don't like that kind of advertising, but it is only 5,000 miles. I think that's really cool. Uh, 5.7 liter V8, 15 to 23 miles per gallon. Not that anybody actually cares about the miles per gallon in this. It is rear wheel drive. It has a shaker hood. It has remote start, power seat with lumbar, dual zone climate, backup cam, sensors, uh, Bluetooth, power windows, locks. And other than the fact that it's a full-fledged race car and goes really fast, what else do you need? And a car like this. Nothing. That's what you need. Um, so there's a look inside. Uh, I have the key, so I'll let, we'll do the same thing as last week. I'll let Alyssa stand behind and I'll start it up and uh, you guys can listen to it. Um, yeah. So for those of you who also don't know, so the shaker hood, if you want to go and close the mat. So the cool thing about a shaker hood is actually when you're going down the road, hold on, track the trailer. When you're going down the road, this is actually kind of separated and it's kind of sitting in here. So like you can see it from where you're sitting and you can actually see this shake and kind of torque and stuff like that. So that's the advantage of a shaker hood. Um, you can actually see it, it's really, really cool. And uh, practicality wise, I mean, I'm sure it does something. I don't know that kind of details. What I do know is that it looks really, really cool. So we have that. Um, I'll start it up quick and then we'll go through our, our little recap at the end like we always do and then we'll be done. Oh, it is automatic, by the way. I don't know if I said that. If you need to, go back and watch the other one. Alyssa thinks that the Charger sounds better. I think the Challenger sounds better. Um, so I'd like to just see what you guys think. Uh, I'm glad you guys got to see the Shaker Hood. Uh, it sounds awesome. It's a really fun car. And uh, I think that's it for this week. Uh, tune in later for Stephanie tomorrow, Kevin on Thursday. I'll be behind the camera on Thursday, which is exciting. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. If you need anything, give us a call. Stop in like always. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.